1300 hours Pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by daman zaman the headlines the president has emphasized on maximum utilization of technology for sustainable development in the country The Prime Minister inaugurates the Green Line Rapid Bus Transit project in Karachi today. The special assistant to the Prime Minister on poverty alleviation says several steps have been taken under the SRS program for the welfare of women. A sit-in is being organized by Pasbani Huriyat Jammu and Kashmir near the line of control on the International Human Rights Day today. And now the news in detail. The president Dr Arif Alvi has emphasized on maximum utilization of technology for sustainable development in the country addressing the pensioners biometric verification service launching ceremony in Islamabad today he said development is linked to the adoption of technological means the president said automation makes a process easy and transparent he said the government's initiatives of electronic voting machines and i voting are aimed at achieving the same objectives he said the use of technology has increased in the day to day activities and those who resist will lag behind the president said 60 billion rupees are dispensed among 1.4 million people in pension and my system and any system for verification of the pensioners will be a welcome development the prime minister imran khan will inaugurate the green line bus rapid transit system project in karachi today the project completed at a huge cost of 35.5 billion rupees is a valuable gift by the federal government for the people of sindh particularly the residents of karachi Green Line Bus Rapid Transit System project will provide modern travel facilities to 135,000 passengers daily in the western and central districts of Karachi making their access to central business district easy and safe the project has been implemented by the ministry of planning and development through sindh infrastructure development company on the special interest of the minister for planning and development asad umar During the day long visit to Karachi the prime minister will also chair different meetings on political and administrative affairs of the province The minister for maritime affairs Ali Haider Zaidi says Gawadar deep sea port is being developed as a transshipment hub which will play an important role in advancing regional trade and economic integration he expressed these views during a meeting with the secretary general international maritime organization kitak lim on the sidelines of the international maritime organization assembly session being held from the 6th to the 15th of this month in london matters of mutual interest including maritime issues came under discussion the minister praised the international maritime organization head of the government's various initiatives in the maritime sector including efforts to promote clean and green shipping The special assistant to the Prime Minister on Poverty Alleviation Dr Sania Nishta says several steps are being taken under the SRS program for the welfare of women addressing a function in Islamabad today she said 50% beneficiaries of all the initiatives under the SRS program are women and this number is increasing day by day the special assistant said women are benefiting from SRS kafalat SRS amadan and SRS undergraduate scholarship programs she said 100% beneficiaries of SRS kafalat program are women and 60% of the assets in SRS amadan program are being provided to women dr sania nishta said women form 50% of the population and they cannot be ignored the international human rights day is being observed today to promote equality peace justice freedom and the protection of human dignity this just theme of the day is reducing inequalities and advancing human rights 
A sit-in is being organized by the Pasbani Hurriyat Jammu in Kashmir near the line of control on the international human rights state today. In a statement, Pasbani Hurriyat Chairman Uzair Ahmed Ghazali said the protest demonstration is aimed at seeking international human rights organizations' attention towards the deteriorating situation in the Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The 50th martyrdom anniversary of Sarwar Muhammad Hussain Shaheed Nishane Heather is being observed today. Muhammad Sarwar Hussain Shaheed Nishane Heather was born on 18th of January 1949 at Jatli village in Gujar Khan. He was the first soldier to be awarded Nishane Heather. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News.